Um, the suns around us are essential for our well-being. It is um, the carrier, the sun is the carrier of ma many valuable social data. It also reflects the social order because the sound has the, its own regularities during the day or even a year. And it also reflects the social structure because somebody allowed some sounds, some sounds to be uh, in our public spaces and some sounds are forbidden, uh, some sounds are privileged and there are people who decide which is which and also there are people who rebel against these norms. So understanding how different categories of uh, people perceive the sound may be very useful for social sciences. For example, take the noise. We may measure the noise with very precise instruments, like this, for example. So we will see how loud we are and it will tell us something about the noise level. And we may compare the noise levels with existing administrational norms. Of course, we may do it and it is useful. But I think in social sciences, it is more interesting to compare uh, how people perceive the sound and what is noise to them. Sometimes it's not only very loud sound. It's, it happens that unbelievably quiet sound may be very destructive. There are three main sound sources. Um, nature, machines and other people. So we in general tend to like natural sounds, like this bird, for example. It's quite pleasant, nice, relaxing, soft. On the other hand, we rather don't like the machine sounds, like these we hear now. It's rather not a pleasant place to be, it's hardly relaxing, it's distracting, like you can hear by yourself. And the third sound source are people, we. And it's a bit more complicated than the previous ones. When we are in public spaces, uh, the people presence attracts us. We want to see what's happening. But where, when we are at home, we want peace and relax. The loud noises from the people outside are not a pleasant and welcome guests in our private space. How we perceive sound and how we behave uh, making sounds is a cultural phenomenon. So, for example, young men, elder women, rich, poor, educated people, they all have different needs and different behaviors according to the sound. So, exploring the sound, we must Keep in mind the human perspective, the individual perspective on the sounds, how we judge them, how, or how we like or how we dislike them and for what reasons. As I said before, we may put emphasis on a more precise measurement of the sound, but in our approach I would recommend to collect sound data uh, using the tool called the SoundWalk. It, it brings the individual perspective. So we may go on the sound walk ourselves or, or with other people uh, from cer certain categories, uh, the elder or the young, the rich or poor, or the people who use given space. And we may share the experience being in the field, learning from each other uh, what parts of the envir environment are nice, worth to keep, or maybe we may find a way to uh, remove, erase some sounds with, which are distracting or causing troubles or even conflicts.